at 5.30, a playground protest. Parents at a Roxbury school say kids can't play outside because of the number of needles littering the area. And now they are demanding that something be done. As WBZ's Lisa Greshi reports, parents and students say the conditions are unacceptable. A plea for help from the students themselves at Orchard Gardens Elementary School. We need to save our community. No more needles. Erica Pastor has been a teacher and a librarian at the school for nine years. Keep the kids safe, and actually the kids made this. Each sign exposing the hard truth behind the area's nickname. Oh, it's really widely known. It's nicknamed Methadone Mile. It's been many years that the needles have been found outside, and uh, kids have been pricked, and they've brought them inside to their book boxes. Some students say they've found needles right here on this very sidewalk on the way to school. The little kids be out here playing and they can, get, yeah, they can get stabbed. The playground full of needles, the park by the school full of needles. Students, teachers and parents believe just like opioid use is an epidemic, so are these needles left behind. Every time any one of these young children, young men, young women go out here and could potentially prick themselves with a needle and we just want to bring attention to that. In a statement from Boston Public Schools, it says the safety and well-being of students and staff is a top priority. Students at Orchard Gardens Elementary are taught to stay away from needles through lessons dubbed stop, turn, and tell. And custodial staff every morning search the school property to dispose of any improperly discarded needles. Still, though, students have a message. That needles are not safe for kids or them, so we want them to stop. Reporting in Roxbury, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.